micro We jam to abandoned buildings Sees an empty cup we fell on I keep my circle tight Vibe just right with my sex string Singing all night Gender, faith, color, or lover Don't matter one way or other No complaints from me Welcome everyone to the Eve Growing Concept Today's video is going to be how to water an Eve Tower Now there's a few ways you can do it this is the simplest. In other videos, I'll show you how to do, how to set it up mechanically, how to set timers and stuff like that. Um, but for this one, I'm going to just show, let's say an inner city kid wants to get a tower and he doesn't want to go through all the, the mechanics of getting it. And he just wants one tower to grow leafy greens. Write something like this. You can like this. You juice plus people. Check out this. You want to, want to juice some kale? You want to juice some spinach? Right here. Go down here. I'm going to show you something before I start watering stuff see this the celery here I got a few stalks growing in my Eve tower this celery I don't know if any of you know it but if you've gone to Sam's Club or BJ's right oh, celery see. you know how white it looks when you first get it look at how green that looks I took the root of those when I bought when I bought some of those celeries I took the root and I buried it and I'm getting celery I've got like four of them growing in there so I have fresh celery all day long if I want to <laughs> all day long Mm, look at how amazing that is. Mukbangers or something like that. Well, they eat in front of you. And for some reason, fascinates the heck out of me. I already did a video on that. Let's get back to watering as it's starting to rain. And what a perfect time. You know, one thing about the Eve's Tower, let's talk about some negatives, Mark, because you're always talking about the, the positives. One thing, it's kind of a negative. It doesn't have to be if you know how to capture rainwater. Well, you can use tap water, but when it does rain, your garden's outside. There's not much water that gets into it or can get into it. Because right now I have a lid on here, but even if I had it off and had plants up here, they they would kind of make it go over the tower, right? So rain, when it rains, sometimes, depending on the setup now, but I'd say like the cucumber tower doesn't get rain when it rains, no matter how hard it rains. The leaves get rain, which is kind of a good thing, but the inside doesn't necessarily. You have to, it's all internal. It's all internal. So you have to, um, you got to water, you got to physically water it. Basically I have a bucket here with a funnel, of course, that was made. Um, it's, a, it's a half inch conduit here that I, I put a, a bottle top on here. One thing you learn with the Eve Growing print Principles is all the materials, for the most part, can be easily attained in urban settings if one knows what to look for and where to find free supplies, right? So that's another lesson that we, be, we should be teaching inner city kids about the Eve growing concept. Unlike these other non-traditional growing methods, for the most part, you are trapped in their machines and in uh, their chemicals, if you're talking hy uh, hydroponics and aeroponics, and even for aquaponics. You can, a lot of times aquaponics, you can make your own stuff, but of course you always have to have it running all the time, 24 seven. Another thing I wanna touch on, and we'll do more videos on it while I'm talking about the watering aspect of Eve, is the difference between Eve, Eve's aquaponics, right? You hear aquaponics is when you use fish water to feed your plants and the plants kind of filter the fish water so the fish don't die from, um, you know, swimming in their own nastiness, right? So the, the plants filter the water and the, um, the fish give nutrients to the plants, okay? So you have one system that is forming a symbiotic circle. Okay, symbiotic circles are usually very nice. And we could talk all day long of how Eve is a symbiotic circle, but with aquaponics. And this is kind of strange why I wonder why people, especially on a small scale, I, I'm not talking commercial scale, on a small scale, I don't know why people would invest the time, except um, like I did. I did because I didn't know any better. So I guess I do know the reason why they don't spend time because most people don't know better. They don't know that it's a better way, that somebody has been working on a far better way for them. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to open source that way with you. But with aquaponics, since these the, the, the fish and the plants form a symbiotic circle, when one fails, the other fails. When this one, when the fish fail, the plants fail. When the f plants fail, the fish fail. And so it's the one are depending on, it, on each other. With the Eve growing concept, your fish is separate from your grow area. Very important, first of all, because if one fails, you still got the other. You know, if a fish dies, you're still growing plants. If your plants die, it's not because you don't have enough um, nutrients in there. So another benefit with growing with soil people, let's get back to growing with soil. Um, one of the benefits is 
that you can add more nutrients. You're not, you know, fish water has certain nutrients. Granted, it must be great because I see people growing great things with aquaponics, but does it have as much nutrients as, as the Eve growing tower? I, I don't think so, especially when I'm using the same dirty fish water as they're using, especially when I'm using vermicomposting or house compost. Another wonderful aspect about the Eve growing concept is we're teaching inner cities kids how to compost, showing them that their compost is an important asset to the planet instead of just throwing it away or putting it in your garbage disposal and having it go out to the, the city sewers. How insane is that? You're collecting it, you're saving it, and you're turning it into rich organic compost. That is the key, and that's what we want to teach kids. We feed it to our red wigglers. I don't know, and I'm getting, I know, off the subject of watering an eve growing tower but really how hard is it to, to water an eve growing tower so we want it to be a 15 minute video right because i have so much important information to tell you guys right um so one thing i want to tell you guys <clears throat> if you haven't noted those who follow my video know i have a vermiculture process technique again like the eve growing system designed specifically for urban living where you can turn all of your household organics into worm castings, right? Worm castings, garden gold to the organic grower. It competes with these commercial fertilizers, right? Well, with my vermenting, and it's a closed group, only those special people can be a part of it, which is anybody who answers a few little questions. I'd love to have you come. And those, by the way, I want to do another plug for all those guys and girls who are in my vermenting group and my Eve growing group, which is closed groups. Um, but anybody could join, right? The closed groups, but anybody could join. I appreciate you. And I, there's going to be more content coming out. I got a lot of great ideas, I feel, that I'd like to share with you. And I'm sure you guys have a lot of great ideas to share with me. Beauty about all this technology is we're all sharing information freely. We're all treating each other like we're one big global family. So important, okay? Talk about getting off the track, right, guys? Okay. So, here's my... Here's this guy. Leafy greens come forward. Don't you look good? All right. This guy already watered. Okay, so he's already done. The water, I water from the top. I watered. I water from the top here, here, and here. There's three containers here. You can go to four if you want. Three I find is good. Two is good as well, depending on what you're growing. So we talked. To, so that's what else. So in this particular tower, I've got. There's some more celery there that I've been picking on. And we've got some kale and garden greens. All right, my little guy, go over here and be good. Don't mess around over there, all right? Look at this guy. Let's do this mint real quick. This mint right now is very light. And as you can feed me, feed me. Feed me water. Come here, mint. I feel bad. I didn't water them today. We had a ton of rain. But again, the rain can't really get into the bucket. That's a problem, Mark. That's a downfall for the Eve growing system. Not really, but really. So here, what up from the top? This one's open. And he needs to be fed every day now that he's this big. Now, one of these mint plants I grew last year and I put it in my garage where it gets kind of cold, but not really cold and he came up just as good as he did initially. So I didn't even have to break it down or anything like that. So I'm growing mint seasonally on that, you know? So that's kind of interesting, isn't it, guys? For me it is, anyway. Now this mint is getting old, it's getting ready to bloom, so you do see some yellow. It was beautiful when it first started out, and it'll get back that way. If I cut it back, see, it's starting to seed and stuff like that. So I've got so much of it. You restaurants, how much time I got? I got 10 minutes, I'm supposed to do 15 minutes, all right? That's the rule, 15 minutes we do. And I know the attention span of most YouTubers is only three minutes. I do 15, because I got so much valuable information to share. Um, especially, listen, you restaurants, I, I, there's one restaurant in New York who's growing with the Tower Garden. As you can see in other videos, Eve looks like a Tower Garden, does it, but it's totally different. Um, come on, give me a call, You, you New York? Boston, all you inner cities, give me a call and I will show you how to grow your own organic produce. I'll show you how to deal with a lot of your um, waste, your so-called waste, your organic waste. I'll show you how to make a lot of your stuff valuable. Because again, like I've said, you're throwing all kinds of valuable growing materials, Eve growing materials in your dumpsters. What a waste. I can, we, can, we can 
think about your dumpster costs. We can think about your organic waste, tons of different things. You know, um, like I was saying with my fermenting project that I, I'm feeding all organic matter too. I, I, that's a whole nother aspect of Eve we'll be talking about in upcoming videos, having these red wigglers consume all your organic matter. I'm talking everything, guys. And those of you who follow my channel know I mean everything, right? So this guy, again, let's get back to watering the plant. Very easy. Think of an inner city kid who goes and he's going and he's re finding all this recycled material. He's putting it together into a growing tool that will help feed his family or help bring some organic food into the house. He's creating. Think of what that does to the student's men mentality as an inner city kid when you start to see different kids making, hey, Joey, what you, what you doing today? Hey, I'm working on my basil plant. And all these kids are working on growing food for themselves and they're getting excited about it. Why? Because it's easy. That's why once it's all set up, it's so easy to do. All right, so this guy has two buckets here and this is how we water it. Okay. A tower like these, I don't know if I've already said this, a tower like these cost literally pennies. A, a, two, a tower like this is under a buck. Easy. And they're easy to make too. This year's model, for those of you who are waiting to see the inside or how I make it, last year's model was a little bit more complicated this, than this year. So you'd be glad you waited. You know, um, and I will be open sourcing this as promised. Alright, so this guy is all water. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, he'll be back to life. He'll look beautiful. I'll snap a picture and put it and put it in there to show you what he looks like. And we've got his sister over here. Come on over here, sister. This one is the newer model. These guys will water at the same time. This one, this top one is last year's model, and as you can see, it's got a little, needed a little more water sooner. This guy here is two of the newer model set. It can go a lot longer without water because of the internal makeup of it all. All right, so, and if you're doing this in your house, there's a better, a neater way to water it. I don't care if the water gets on my concrete, really. But it's designed so it doesn't get water all over the place. I'm just doing it because it's fast and my Video here is supposed to be about watering an Eve tower. It's a no-brainer, right? It's just like splashing um, You know and then you can measure it. There's a way to measure it. That's the mathematics part, right? There's a there's a method of measuring exactly how much so you don't have too much coming out of it at the end, right? And basil. Come over here, basil Come show yourself and be recognized Here's our basil. Basil all day long. Next year I'm going to be growing tons of basil. New restaurants. Come on. Can you see the beauty of this? You own a restaurant? You gave, contact me at Eve Growing at Com Comcast.net and I will show you how to make your own basil. I will deliver you basil, right? I'll deliver you fresh basil so you just pick it. If you don't want to get into the gardening business, I will bring you basil like you wouldn't believe. I'll bring you mint like you won't believe in. Tell me what kind of herb you grow the most or use the most. Contact me and I'll get that to you. Ah, shoot. I'm running out of my 15 minute deadline. Won't be the last video I do, but it's all the time we have for now, apparently. I hope I went through it. That was watering the Eve way as I rambled onto many different subjects because of the excitement of it all. That's all I have to say for now. God bless. Play harder. Raise up your glass, be a whiskey or water. Here's to us and our freaking weekends. So, oh, yeah, let that party begin. We play the game, so pick your poison Good luck to you if you play the boys in that girl right there Can out drink and think you in Blonde too, what's a boy to do? B -b -b Boogie on down to the dance floor Shum